Okay, 2012 AMC, this was problem 24, so we're getting into the, some of the really, really kind of tricky ones. 24 on the AMC 12A, and this says, let A sub K as K goes from 1 to 21 be the sequence of real numbers defined by A of 1 equals 0 0.201, A of 2 equals 0 0.201 to the A of 1, A of 3 equals OK. All right, and they give me a... Um, a piecewise, recursively defined um, sequence. Okay, and more generally, uh, digits for numbers in parentheses. All right, and the top number, if k is odd, the bottom number of k is, e is even. Um, rearranging the numbers in the sequence in decreasing order, and this is something that I missed the first time I read through the problem, it cost me some problems, um, produces a new sequence, b of k as k goes from 1 to 2011, what is the sum of all the integers k as 1 is less than or equal to k is less than or equal to 2011? Okay, for, um, for simplicity's sake, up here, I'm going to have this be increasing, because that, that's easier for me to think about, even though we have a decreasing down here. The first thing I notice, 0.201 is the smallest number out here, okay? And this has something to do with A1. This actually is A1. 0 0.2011 is bigger than any of these because everything else um, afterwards is 0 0.2010, so that's the last, that's the biggest term, 2011 is the biggest base number. We'll talk more about the exponents next, but that's A2. And this pattern of the bases, so this is strictly less than 0 0.20, um, the next one, 101, A3, and then the next one over here, um, point, point 0.20, 1011A4. And we can see now these aren't the actual terms. However, now let's look at the terms themselves. A1 is 0 0.2011. Let me put that down. I'm going to put it out in front and I'll explain why shortly. A2 is the biggest base smaller than zero to the smallest exponent. And we know, so this is the smaller the exponent of a number between, I'm sorry, small and zero, small and one, between zero and one. The smaller the exponent, the bigger the number. So A2 will be out here. A3 is, um, I have the second smallest base number out of here with the current largest term. So again, between 0 and 1, the larger the exponent, the smaller the number. This is still less than 1, so it is bigger than a 1, but way less than a 2, way less than, it's still within point, uh, still between 0 and 1. Okay, um, a 4 is the second largest base number to the second smallest um, exponent, so A4 will be over here, and the pattern continues. This is the tricky part. The rest is downhill, so A5, um, A6, you can see, okay? Dot, dot, dot. Okay, so now that's increasing order, and that's the mistake I made. They want this in decreasing order, so this is, this was A of K. They want it in decreasing order, so let's change colors. So for decreasing, This means that um, a sub 2, a sub 4, all of the even powers increasing all the way up to a sub 2010. So a sub 6, all up to a sub 2010, and then it's going to be decreasing. So we have a sub 2, 0, 1, 0, and then we go on our odd powers decreasing. So I just reverse this order, 
comma, A sub 2011, A sub 2009, all the way down to A sub 1. Okay, so there is, this is my, um, my sequence B sub K. Okay, and what we're looking for is what K value will be when K, when B sub K, uh, okay, I want to find B sub K equal to A sub K. I want to find the sum of all K's where this is true. Well, if I look, for all the evens, um, I, I'm basically seeing where this is in the same place as it is in A. Well, um, so my A list was still A sub 1, A sub 2. You can see I'm not going to catch up to any of these up here. All the way up to, in the end, we have A sub 2011. So I'm not going to catch up to any of these evens. So all of the evens are out, no chance. But here's the idea. Let me call this out. So this will be true when, as I count up, by k's here, so when k will equal, and this one was a little tricky for me, but going the other way, so you notice as I increase along here, I am decreasing. So as I, in, as I go up a term, I'm decreasing two terms. So I have a minus 2k. Um, and then the way that I did this is I said plus some y intercept b, so b sub k, and this is only, that's not the, um, that b is really bad, but it's not the, let me, let me call this beta, so it's clearly not the same as that b. Okay, um, so, and this is for k greater than or equal to um, 1006. Okay, so this is after we start the decreasing odds. And I know that B sub 2011, the last term here, 2011, is equal to A sub 1. So this was A sub all this stuff, so a sub 1. So 1 has to equal negative 2 times 2011 plus my beta, beta, I've been watching too much British stuff, um, and so beta will equal um, 4022, 4023. And I need to solve the equation now for when k equals negative 2k plus 4023, okay? This is saying, this k right here is saying when I count this way, this negative 2k plus 4023 is saying as I get the odd ones going that way, I figure out when they are the same. And that happens, add 2k to both sides, so I get 3k equals 4023 divide by 3, and let me use my nice little thing, I just, I don't feel like messing it up in my head, so that of course is 1, 3, um, 4, 1, all work down there, 1341, which magically is answer choice C, I hope that made sense.